Good afternoon, and welcome to my daily chat. Uh, this is episode number 472, and the topic today is very simple, when no means no. And I'll get into that in a second. Before I do that, let me introduce myself and give you a framework of why I do this, and more. So, <laughs> my name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. I help strong, successful women create and find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine. And so my work is around helping women mostly um, own their love, heal their hearts, attract amazing relationships, etc. So this question comes up a few times. When no means no. And by the way, before I say that, or I should say, what I should say before that is, every day I do these talks on Facebook, yes, Facebook Live, called messages from, the masculine to, messages from the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. And these talks have been going on for a while now because it's number 472. And the topic today, again, is no, or when no means no. Or I should say, actually, no, the topic is no means no, I think. No, I said when. <laughs> okay, you know, you get the gist of what I'm talking about. So let me speak to this. Actually, yesterday, I did a Facebook Live, which was um, talking about boundaries. And the challenge that people have, and the challenge I was having, because to be selfish and honest about it, about my own um, forgetfulness about my own boundaries, letting something happen where I wasn't taking care of myself. So no means no applies to that and more. And I'm using this context, I believe I'll start with relationships, it may change from that point, but I want to make sure you get this point, because the thing about this conversation is, many people have no clue what that means. As strange as it sounds, I mean, it's so simple, when no means no. But people seem to get caught up in this paradigm where, does it really mean no? Is it okay to, you know, it's like, this, this, it's like get over it, let's get, some, let's get some truth in here. So, I want to speak to boundaries as well, because I'm actually, I mentioned yesterday, I'm, I actually made, mentioned yesterday and the day before, I think, that I'm in the process of putting together a webinar, it's going to be Wednesday week, which will lead up to a four-month pr uh, group coaching program or coaching course called, uh, right now the working title has evolved, it was Love Is, and now the working title is Love, Healing, and Boundaries. So I'm going to speak to a couple of things now which will, I'll be talking in much more greater depth when I get to that point, but I want to give you some thoughts to play with right now. So when no means no, for me, part of it is how man boys, as I've talked about before, don't know how to say they don't know how to respect a woman saying no to them and this is mostly and this is mostly men towards women just to be clear because there are occasional cases where it's from women towards men but nine times out of ten it's men towards women where basically they're approaching women they're hitting on women they're harassing them they're messaging them texting them everything else ignoring the fact that what a woman's saying is no even though oftentimes and let's be clear women don't always actually say no they may say I'm not interested they may say, I'm already in a relationship. They may say, um, get lost. <laughs> they may say a few things without actually saying N-O, no. And so for some reason, men don't understand that what they, that's what it means, is no. And in fact, what's really frustrating for me as a man is how other men don't respect women. And it pisses me off, to be blunt, because I, I have a great deal of um, appreciation and respect for women as general. And... In my work especially, it's where I support women. And so when men don't do that, it feels like it's, it's feels like it's crossing the line in a way, not only for women, but for other men like myself who honor and respect women. It's kind of like, dude, get back, step right back across that line. Respect women, because that's what we're meant to be doing as men in, in general. So I'm giving you that as a declaration. But also some other piece I want to add to that, which is this boundary piece. Um, there's two parts I want to speak of, so I'm just seeing which one comes first. So ladies... And this is going to be in the context of relationships. I'm taking what I talked about yet. So again, took, look at my yesterday's, yesterday's broadcast. We did a whole different thing about uh, boundaries because it came right in the moment of that talk. But I want to use in this context that, that boundaries for many of us are semi-permeable. <laughs> Put it that way. Because we deal with this in life. We get to a point where we say yes to things or we fall into a, can, habitual patterns, convenience with other people, where they steamroll us. And so in the relationship context I was speaking about with no means no for men approaching women, the framework for boundaries is one that is, um, I'm going to put this, 
sometimes, I'm going to be careful I say this because I know it can get really messy. Sometimes it can be the point where your no is not clear enough because your boundaries are not strong. And I'm not saying that you're being, um, that I'm blaming you. I want to be clear about this. My message here and my context here is to say to you very clearly that men should be respecting women, period. That was the thing I said at the beginning and I want to keep that going. At the same time, ladies, your ability to say no could be firmer in some cases where your boundary is just saying not interested is saying I'm not interested in you the answer is no like just add a bit more bluntness to your refusal now you may get some reaction from the men who have been pursuing because they don't know how to receive no I'll speak to that one a second too but that's nothing to do with you that's their shit their stuff their crap their, their lack of understanding of the fact that they don't know how to honor other human beings in the female form that's a whole other sort of conversation, a whole other conversation, excuse me, not a whole other, whole other conversation. I'll show my East End roots for a second there. So having a firmer no is an important piece. Secondly, oh, that's interesting, okay. As a subject, as a subtext to this, is taking things personally. I didn't realize that was gonna come up. Okay, it's gonna come up. We as human beings have a bad habit of taking things personally when it's nothing to do with us. Let me say that again more slowly. We as human beings have a bad habit of taking things personally when it has nothing to do with us. When someone gets upset about something we do, unless we're directly impacting them in physical form, like we're actually in their space or they're pushing on something they want to do, or we hit their car, which is still another point about being attached. People's attachment to what you do or don't do is their stuff, not yours. Yes. So boundaries, a part of boundaries is recognizing that when somebody gets upset with you, it's not about you. It's about them. Now, there are certain parts of us that are caretakers that we want to go, let me make them feel better by going beyond my own boundaries to let them in, which is a trap that gets you out of your center and takes you into place of being a victim because you're letting somebody else control your choices about your own boundaries. I talked more about that last week. So boundary keeping requires that you stop going outside of your framework to be a caretaker for other people when you don't need to. Now, choosing to be a caretaker is one thing, but caretaking out of habit is not, is not normal and not healthy. And I'm talking to myself about that one because it's one of my bad traits sometimes is I do caretaking when I shouldn't be. I should let people do their own thing. Yes, it's a should, I know. There was a second piece in there. I do one piece and went off a tangent. So let me come back to the second piece for men. There we go. Men, when she says no, that's nothing to do with you either. Take that one off a size. When a woman turns you down, that simply means that she's not interested in you. That's her choice, not yours. It's also not to do with you, it's to do with her. Especially when a lot of women are in a relationship and you won't stop hitting on them. They're busy, they're occupied, they're committed, they're engaged in a relationship, they're choosing that level of love. Or maybe they're on their own, but you're not the answer to their prayers, unless they say yes. Well, not even then sometimes. So men, here's the key. If she says no, move on. I wish I could, this, this could be sent to every man who harasses women who don't get it. And by the way, if you're sending dick pics, that is not going to help you. Please. I talked, that, talked about that a few weeks ago too. Boundaries is a key part of this. But also, when no means no, as a receiver of that answer, gentlemen especially, honor the fact it's a no. There's no wiggle room. There's no renegotiating. It's simply no. If they're not interested, or they're saying not now, that's different. That's why ladies I'm saying, if, you say no, if you're not interested, say no as well. So they get clearly what it is. We have a bad habit in this culture of not communicating clearly. Clearly the case. So saying no is a clear communication. Not saying no weakens it. So both sides understand this. Men and women and, and vice versa when it happens occasionally too. This whole thing about boundaries is that we have a clear delineation between who we are and who other people are. We take up our own space, we honor who we are, and we don't engage in other people's stuff when it's not our job to do so. That caretaking habit. And also our concern about what, people, what other people think of us. Here we go with a quote. Eleanor Roosevelt, Eleanor Roosevelt was famously quoted as saying, what you think of me is none of my business. 
that's part of this thing about no means no and boundaries. Understanding that that place of, of delineation means that what you think of me, nothing to do with me. Same thing's true in dating. Yes, I'm saying this. It's true in dating too, that if you feel getting no from a woman, is something about you, you've got too much attachment to the result. And in fact, you're um, stroking your ego too much. Yeah, seriously. If no means no, that means she said no because she's not interested. Walk away, go somewhere else. Now, if every woman's saying no to you, that's feedback. <laughs> Just to be clear. And vice versa, ladies, if all the men are saying no, that's feedback as well. So that's when you want to go deeper and check into what it is maybe you're doing incorrectly or not effectively that's causing that problem. Clear? I hope that is. So that's that part I want to say. I think that is basically it. It was a, it was a kind of a blast of reminders about no means no. I've done a lot of conversations about Me Too, and if you haven't seen my other broadcasts, I invite you to go watch previous ones because I've covered this topic a few times about um, boundaries, Me Too, sexual aggression, and not being healthy. But this point is very simple. It doesn't need to be a long broadcast. Simple point. No does mean no. And when no means no is any time it's used in a clear communication. So ladies and gents, please be aware that your communication can be clearer than it is, perhaps. And you may want to look into how you can make it clearer, which is being more, more precise, more perfunctory, more effective in what you say. When you're wishy-washy, people don't know what to do with that. Which is why sometimes when you think of telling someone no and you're not, they don't know how to respond to that. And they may keep doing what they're doing and until you say to them, no, in a clear, defined way, they may not be aware of it. I'm not saying not to blame them. Not, I'm not saying that you should blame yourself. I'm saying be clearer. And that's simple stuff I know. Not always easy to do, so practice this. In fact, your homework, I'm going to give you homework right now, is be willing to say no more often. Clearly defined, and it, may not, it doesn't have to be the big stuff about relationship necessarily, but it could be where there's situations where you would normally say not interested or something else. Say no instead, or say no as well, and see what happens. In a, and, and say it cleanly, not say, like, no, like, angry. Just say no. Pure and simple. Effectively standing in your ground, standing in your truth, and own your own space. One of the side effects of doing this is you'll feel more freedom. Yes, you'll feel more free by saying no. Amazing how that works. Because then you say yes to what you really want, because when you say no more clearly to what doesn't work, you make more room, more freedom, to say yes to what you do want. And the thing about that is, the yes is show up more easily because you're selling the universe, yes, the universe, that what is important to you and what's not important, what is important to you is clearly defined so what, other, what is also important to you can show up the right way. This, this, this also contributes to your affirmations and what you really want to have. When you're affirming what you want, you got to be clear about what you don't want and saying no to that helps you with that. That is going to come up in the program, yes. Okay, so this is another part of my um, prelude or um, preview to my, pro, my course I'm going to be offering up and the, it's going to be offered up in my webinar next week and then it's going to be in a course that launch, launches in the middle of October it's going to run through the holidays intentionally so start middle of October to middle of January I'll tell you more about that later on but just keep your ears open and if you're interested in more about that message me over social media or go to my website and click on the contact form I don't have a landing page yet it's coming up in the next few days um, actually maybe sooner than that but we'll see so having said all that thank you for watching my broadcast as always a um, couple of quick things I'll put in the comments a couple of links, which is to my self-love invitation, which is a, uh, a product I've been launching, which is really part of my new course, but it's gonna help you get started on rebuilding that self-love inside. That's an audio uh, guided meditations and um, a written course. It's a practice you can do for yourourself, very easy, very effective, and it's on my website, which is barryselby.com forward slash self-love, or one word. Um, if you wanna chat more, if you wanna get more help in your relationship, love, and understanding those boundaries, reach out to me. And you go to my website again, barryselby.com forward slash chat. I'll put the links in the comments. And um, as I said before, you can find my broadcasts. These are on Facebook Live initially. This is my daily chat on Facebook Live. And all the replays go onto my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author. And also onto my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby's the channel. All my social media is Barry Selby, by the way. And the playlist is Messages, for, messages from the Masculine. And then onto iTunes on my podcast, which is also called Messages from the Masculine. You can subscribe and, and download there. And if you want to share this with anybody you think you should watch this, please share it with them. I appreciate that. And if you have any questions, comments, please put in the comments below or respond after I sign off. And also um, stay tuned for the invitation to my webinar next Wednesday, Wednesday week, that is. And, uh, and tomorrow, again, back again, 5 p.m. Pacific time for my usual broadcast. I will talk to you again then. If you have any questions, comments, put them below, as I mentioned. 
and uh, you have your homework assignment. So with that, I will say um, I appreciate you watching, and I will see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.